Good morning, my neighbor. Fuck off. Welcome back to another episode of the vlog. Today, we're gonna go through my new routine as an online coach. I had to make some tweaks to this over the years to refine it to be the best efficient productivity, best lifestyle. And we're gonna go through the new variation of that today. With Dubai, because we're ahead of time, we are finding ourselves working till about 10 or 11 o'clock on most nights, definitely Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, and Thursday. So, We've been trying to get up at seven or eight and do the whole daytime, daytime stuff and then work in the evenings too and I'm absolutely fingered. So we'd normally get to about three or four o'clock and then we'd have a blast of work and you do, you've done about you know, eight hours by then and you have a little bit of a lull in the afternoon and we ended up just doing nothing between the hours of three and six which was not productive and then I didn't want to work in the evening either but I had to because of the time differences for calls. So we're starting to do one today so the time is now is, let me check, is 10 past nine. So we're already an hour into the day, but I haven't even done anything about the shower. Millie got up, she didn't work. Um, and then that's it, I'm not doing anything. So my new routine is gonna go make breakfast now. Eggs, loads of bread, because rest day, no training today. I've got education between the hours of nine and 11. And then I'm gonna plan my day and, and run and eat again. And then I'm gonna have one, sales, uh, one setup call at one. And then basically from two till 10, straight check-ins, meeting at 10 p.m., then go to bed. Just so that the day is all capped, I've got time for myself in the morning now where I can learn. I'm doing a new sales training to this morning, so um, I'm, I've, I've been given access to a mastermind, which is all about top-end sales. So we're gonna go and learn about that. And it's a massive, massive, massive course. So I'm gonna get through, through one or two hours of, of lectures, plus I get bored after lectures very, very quickly, maybe one hour, and I just need to take some notes and then just move on. So I'm gonna eat, watch this, watch this masterclass, and then we're going to get to into check-ins and that. I'm going to, as we go through today, I'm going to cover you why I do certain things with check-ins and the reason why the need for working in the evenings is massive, but then why go back to back? And uh, it's definitely, definitely my personality type to go all in on something very, very quickly over a short space of time. I don't do well with like two hour breaks and then change this and change that. I like do, I need to go boom, I hit it hard and then shift on because I'm not a person that can come back to check-ins if I've got it, like I literally need them all lined up. I need to go and do that task, do it as best as possibly I can, then move on to something like WhatsApp communications, get to all to my clients, talk to this, and then do something else, do something else, because I can't just uh, I can't just dilly-dally or spend loads of time on one thing, because it's just, uh, it's not my, my, my personality type, maybe it's ADHD or something like that, but I just can't focus on one thing for like ever, but I do do blocks of like two hours, straight hard, go to walk around, two hours hard. So, I'm gonna take you through today, first eggs and toast. So, as you saw, that was not supposed to be, that was supposed to be 200 grams of bread, but the bread got moldy, so we're not doing that. So we're doing two different cereals, 120 grams of cereal combined, lions and sugar puffs, and then three eggs and uh, two pieces of bread. Uh, get, me, get me in all my carbs and protein and fats. Uh, now onto the cell training, so I'm going to show you what I'm doing. So the first thing out of all of the things when we're talking about, like how to do like deep work in the morning, and you want education stuff, and you want to kind of have that ability to to focus on something, which is really, really important. You know, as online coaches, we always evolve, and we're always going to get, want to get better. There has to be that level of undistractability. So you know, my phone isn't going to get used. I'm not going to be on WhatsApp. I'm not going to be on train rides. I'm not going to be answering emails. Um, I'm going to be simply just you know doing my sales training now and education for an hour, not touching anything else, learning, disconnecting, and then I'm going to tackle the emails when we get back. Someone's throwing fucking flip flops at me. What a prick. It's toilet paper. Oh, it's toilet paper. Say hi to the vlog. Hi vlog. <laughs> go for a poo. Go for a poo. Yeah. Enjoy it. Um, so, when you're undistracted and you get that work done, you then don't have to spend two hours or three hours doing it because you can just put the, 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 the training in like 1.5 speed, focus on it and not be distracted. You know, I have about 75 messages in my WhatsApp right now, I have about 400 emails probably. Um, and those things can, and that Instagram is just another beast altogether. It's like, if you get distracted by them earlier during the day, you're already reactive. You're already in a place of like, oh my God, I've got to catch up. Like Millie will come and say, oh my God, it's already 6 a.m. in the UK. I need to get on with work. I'm like, no, chill out. You've got it, it's fine. You've got plenty of time to do stuff. But focusing on yourself is really, really important, especially in this way when we know we're going to work till 10 p.m. We know we're going to do those later evenings. So it's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint, and focus on yourself first. So I'm going to crack into this. We are doing sales one-to-one -one crash coursing. Let's go for it.
Să vă decide. Vă decide. Vă decide. Vă decide. Right, so that's sales training done. Very, very good. I uh, only did one or two lessons, but now it is 10 to 11, so we've been doing that for another an hour and a half with food. So now I'm just going to crack on with some work. Respond back to web messages, probably do a few check ins just because. I'm earlier than what I thought I was going to do. I just can't concentrate for that long in terms of education. I need an hour and that's max. So don't need two hours of that in the morning tomorrow. We are on to check-ins. So I'm going to go through this and then um, call in an hour, uh, therapy in for an hour, and then we're back in the game for, for check-ins. <laughs> Meal two, not very, very pleasant. Chicken, rice, ketchup and peanut butter. I've got no avocados in, so that means that I have to use peanut butter as my fucking source of fats. Chicken from Raw Food, uh, which is really, really good pre prep company. Rice made by me, myself, and ketchup, obviously, 50% fruit salt, so I'm plenty of salt. So, meal number two going in, I've got another three to go on rest days. Should be fun, it's already 2 p.m. Oh, I need a rest, it is... 3.30 and we're halfway through check-ins so I need a rest especially at Bang and stop now so I'm going to chill out here for a bit get back some water taps and then uh, get back to anything to eat another meal as well yogurt, yogurt and cereal Supermarket, I fucking love Dubai. I got the good stuff chicken, bread, rice cakes, crackers, yogurt, berries. Before I'm thinking, fuck it, has been said. So I'm thinking, she. Excuse the hair, this is getting beyond the joke now. I need to actually get a haircut. So that was my day, uh, my new routine per se, uh, which I think is working incredibly well. We had did it again today. Waked up, woke up at like 9, 9 30, and then we worked like last night, we worked all the way to like. 9, 10 o'clock at night. Uh, again, watched a, a couple episodes of Top Boy and then back around again, and I feel incredible. Um, I think it's really, really important to know when you're working online, you dictate the hours that you work. And whilst some clients will demand time off you every single day, it doesn't mean that it has to be specific at specific times unless there's calls. So you are able to mold your day, especially if you're online workers in any way, shape or form, unless you've got meetings, you can really mold your day around it. So for me, definitely I've noticed a lot more cognitive function in the afternoons before like a, you used to get a massive slump. Now I'm actually getting some time in the morning to relax and do stuff for myself uh, which I feel a lot more wholesome for which is really important uh, outside of that well it's lining up with my day it's lining up with what we do in the evenings it's lining up with you know the the, the city I'm in and, and how that time zone is as well so very very happy with the with that going forwards as well so all very very good I think the most important thing is also trying different variations of routines like because I've traveled so much in 2019 Travels again in 2021, been here in 2022 in multiple different places. You've just got to try new shit because if it's something that's not working, you've got to change it. It's the same as when you're on a diet and, it's, and you're not losing weight. Find what the problem is. 
And for me, that problem was not being able to stay awake all the way through the day and feel like I was engaged on work because I was waking up early and then still going to bed late. So how's that going to work? I'm not a fucking superhero. I can't work from like 7am till, till 10pm and be absolutely functioning at the highest degree all the way through. So just try and do shit. And if it doesn't work, you just go back to something else the day after, uh, the week after, the week after that. You just like, you try shit, something new, try shit new, and then you test it and see if it works. Same with anything in this world. You've got to practice it, see what happens, and then go from there. So guys, if you love this type of video, if you like the coaching ones where you get to look at how I'm doing things, why I'm doing things, let me know, put it in the comments, and then also like and subscribe, and then we'll be back for another video next week it's a very exciting one we have a mastermind here on mentorship in dubai which means that there are people coming over for the whole weekend and i'm presenting with some very very other special guests so we'll get you get you involved on that and we'll get you looking at who's going to be there what i'm going to be presenting on and also the, the week leading on to that we've got a yacht party on friday one-to-ones on a saturday plus dinner out in the evenings at adams and then sunday we've got a whole day with me guest lecturing and then other people as well so very excited stay tuned like subscribe how last bb and speak to you soon